All right, in this video, I want to find the Laplace transform of a function. And here, we're going to use, uh, we're going to find the Laplace transform of 4 times cosine of 2t minus 5t plus 2 times e to the 3t. So this uh, won't be too bad at all. So if we take the Laplace transform of, of all of this, so we'll have the Laplace transform of 4 cosine of 2t. Remember, the Laplace transform is linear, so we can break all this up. Minus the Laplace transform of 5t plus the Laplace transform of 2e to the 3t. But also recall that for uh, coefficients, we can simply factor the coefficients out front. So really, we're just going to be left with uh, 4 times the Laplace transform of cosine 2t. Okay, minus 5 times the Laplace transform of t, plus 2 times the Laplace transform of e to the 3t. And now we're just going to use our table, much like you would use, you know, a table of derivatives when you first start doing calculus. So let's see here. Let's find our table. So let's see. Um, so for cosine of at, we said there you get s over s squared plus a squared. So in this case, our number being squared is 2. So the Laplace transform will get s over s squared plus, again, our a is going to be 2, so we'll get 2 squared, minus 5 times the Laplace transform of t. Uh, the Laplace transform at just t, where'd it go? Um, so the Laplace transform, if it's t to the first power, well, you would get uh, 1 factorial, which would just be, well, 1. But let's write it out. We would get 1 factorial, and then we would get s raised to the 1 plus 1, or we would get s squared. Um, let's see here. Notice, uh, well, excuse me, so last but not least, if we just take the Laplace transform of e to the 3t, no, no noticing anything. Uh, let's see. So we said if you have e to the at, you get 1 over s minus the a value. So in this case, we'll get 1 over s minus 3. And now this is our Laplace transform. Um, you're pretty, I mean, you're, you've, you've found it at this point. Um, you can always just multiply the constants. Whoops, let's make that a plus 4 instead of 2 squared. Um, you know, you can always just multiply the constants back in. But that's all there is to it, uh, just kind of knowing the table and then just kind of taking the Laplace transform of each function uh, individually.